It's been a busy few weeks in the Star Citizen universe. We've just had Citizen Con, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. It's about to come to a close and the anniversary sale is going to end today. And after much agonizing, I have decided not to upgrade my constellation Aquila to the Anvil Carrick. Here's why. Let me just first say that I've been a big fan of the Anvil Carrick for quite some time and can honestly say it has been my most anticipated ship for a number of years now. It's a long endurance dedicated explorer which is pretty much my most desired gameplay style. So why would I not take advantage of the anniversary sale and just upgrade to the ship I've been waiting for for so long? I mean, I'd even get an Aquila as a loner while we wait for its release in February, right? Yes, that's true, and I do love the Aquila. So let me just say it's not a money issue. Although I haven't spent a, a fortune to back Star Citizen, the idea of dropping $190 to upgrade to such an iconic ship doesn't really give me the heebie-jeebies. So it's not about the money. And it's not because I'm mostly a solo player and the Carrick is designed to be flown with a crew of four to six, which, I mean, so is the Aquila for that matter. Well, four. And I'm pretty sure that the Carrick could be operated by a lone pilot quite happily, a fact that seems to be supported by the Carrick commercial in which we didn't really see any other human beings other than the abseiling guy in the entire commercial. I mean, well, they could have been hiding from us, I'm sure, but you get my point. No. The real reason I haven't upgraded to the Carrick is, well, I just don't think I'm ready for her yet. I mean, for me, the Aquila just about hits the sweet spot. She's about the right size, has a decent amount of cargo space for when I'm not out exploring distant moons, and is pretty much geared toward the exact same style of gameplay as the Carrick. Ah, but Whizpig, the Carrick is way cooler and can has more cargoes. Well, yes, that's true. Well, at least the cargo part. I happen to think that the Aquila is a far cooler looking ship than the Carrick, but your mileage may vary. You see, the thing is, for me, as an explorer, the Carrick is my ultimate goal. It's what I want to end up in eventually, and it's, I think, important to have goals, especially in this game. And if I just bought the Carrick now, I'd be able to fly it right away from day one, and I wouldn't have anything to look forward to. I would have nothing to work towards, no goal, and I wouldn't feel like I'd earned it. Roleplay, although not the be-all and end-all, is a fairly significant part of my gameplay experience, and I've pretty much got my character all mapped out. Her background, her character, her likes and dislikes, and I feel I'd be doing her an injustice if I just handed her a carrot on a platter. I think her journey toward that goal is going to be half the fun for both of us. Star Citizen is built as a living and breathing universe, continually evolving, and I don't think any game in history has given us, even at this early alpha stage, quite the scope to flesh out our characters and immerse ourselves in this world in quite the same way. I'm really looking forward to exploring the verse with my character, watching her evolve, journeying to distant places and exploring new worlds. Eventually she'll do that in a character, but for now, she loves her Aquila, and that's enough for me.
As always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. Um, let me know in the comments below if you upgraded from the Aquila to the Carrick or if you haven't upgraded from the Aquila to the Carrick. Um, I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are. If you like the video, give me a like. And if you'd like to see more videos in the future, consider subscribing. Thanks very much for watching.